Science Sicula, capturing science through arts. From the robust ape-like physicality of our Australopithecus ancestors to the entirely distinct skeletal structures we Homo sapiens now hold today, many changes occurred throughout history. These changes were made possible by the evolution of the basic hereditary unit of our physical makeup, the gene. Genetics is the study of genes and their behavior. Genes bear information about an organism's bodily composition to be inherited by the product of its reproduction. This includes us humans and all living things, down to the smallest pathogen. An example of that is COVID-19. A recent mutated strain of coronavirus first detected in Wuhan, China. It's a kind of pseudo-retrovirus and known to be zoonotic, meaning it comes from animal hosts. So why the face masks? You see, viruses like COVID-19 aren't very friendly because they attack the cells in our bodies. Now let's talk genetics. COVID-19 is from the coronavirus strain SARS-CoV-2, and it looks like super tiny spherical particles with spike proteins on its surface. Its genetic material comprises of a positive-stranded RNA genome core attached to the nucleocapsid protein, which makes it an uncommon virus. In addition, COVID-19 has similarities with its sister viruses SARS-CoV of China and MERS-CoV from Saudi Arabia, splitting a 79% and 50% genome sequence identity, respectively. The study of genetics also played a role in resolving outbreaks in the past, and that's through the discovery of vaccines. Because of Edward Jenner's successful usage of cowpox matter in 1796 in developing resistance to smallpox, his innovation became the driving force for technological, medical, and research advancements in the production of vaccines. Meanwhile, the Philippines procured two types of vaccines with evident differences in how they work, Oxford's AstraZeneca and Sinovac's CoronaVac. AstraZeneca, a messenger RNA vaccine, contains a harmless genetically modified common cold virus from chimpanzees. It has the genetic instructions in COVID-19's attacker spike proteins. The redesigned genetic code tells the body to form those proteins so the immune system can defend itself from the virus. CoronaVac uses a traditional method of inactivating the virus itself by killing the pathogens in it. The vaccine exposes the whole virus to the immune system, but it won't make you sick. It will just tell your body to supply antibodies to fight the live virus. It's true that prevention is better than cure, and vaccines are testament to that. We've overcome other major health crises due to vaccination, and we'll get through COVID-19 as well. Genes from something that has once controlled our survival as a species, is now a feat our collective is steadily able to control. Through genetics, humanity can combat one of its greatest threats, natural disease, by conducting studies in pathogens, their origins, and genetic material while utilizing our improving facilities and technology. Many devote themselves in a progression of genetics and human life to create a safer world for us and for generations to come, one built from the most basic unit of our identity.